Folks, the, the other big story that people are talking about the last 24 hours uh, comes from the great state of confusion, formerly known as Iowa. <laughs> well, last night they attempted to hold their caucus. And I'll tell you all about it in my new long-running segment, Iowa, what the hell? <laughs> corn, 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 corn. Thank you, corn man. Last night, Iowa was supposed to kick off the 2020 election. Instead, they kicked democracy right in the old hanging chad. There were no results, none. Cable news anchors looked like they were drowning. You could smell the panic coming off of Wolf Blitzer and John King. Right now, so far, John, we got zero, zero, nothing coming in from the uh, state Democrats. We got nothing, and this is confusing to people watching at home. Yes, and even more confusing to us, the nothingness, the nothingness, as I gaze into the gaping maw of oblivion, life itself is meaningless, the stars blindly run, abandon all hope, ye who anchor here, Anderson. <laughs> so that's it. All through the evening, every district was officially reporting at zero, or as Tom Sire would say, I'm tied for first. <laughs> now, Sire, now, we've known for the last three years, that this is the most important election of our lifetimes. And on day one, the Democrats down in Des Moines shake it. They can't even count farmers holding their hands up in a high school gym. What is happening? Where are we? Is this hell? It's Iowa. <laughs> this isn't even, for the record, this is not even the first Iowa cluster cock. Because back in 2016, there was a virtual tie between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. And in 2012, Mitt Romney was declared the winner. But they changed it to Rick Santorum two weeks later. Yes, it took two weeks. But Iowa Republicans eventually found someone whiter than Mitt Romney. <laughs> so how did Iowa get so thoroughly caucus blocked? Well, this year, caucus volunteers were supposed to report results using a new smartphone app. The trouble is, most elderly volunteers had a hard time downloading it onto their garage door openers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, developers admit results were significantly delayed because the new app had a coding issue. That explains why CNN initially projected the winner was Senator Arrow 404, file not found. <laughs> the app was developed, the app was developed by a company called, and this is real, Shadow Inc. The app was supposed to count the votes and I think kill James Bond? <laughs> Even if this app had worked perfectly, it wouldn't have mattered because apparently people were struggling to even log in or download it and there had never been any app-specific training for local officials. No, just like in all previous Iowa caucuses, staff were only trained to set up folding chairs and say, please refrain from licking the butter sculptures. <laughs> Now, after discovering that this app did not work, precinct chairmen tried to call their results into a hotline, but it was understaffed and they couldn't get through. One guy had been on hold for over an hour when he was interviewed by Wolf Blitzer. What are you hearing? I know you're listening to a conversation uh, from the Iowa uh, Democratic Party. Um, so, this is a real coincidence, Wolf. I just got off hold just now. Hello? So I've got to get off the phone to report the results. All right, uh, go ahead and report Hello? your results. Can we listen in as you report them, Sean? Yep. All cool. right, let's listen. All right. <laughs> okay, hi. Hello? They hung up on me. No! <laughs> no! Leave them alone, Wolf. You literally broke the news. Of course, the fact that exactly zero precincts were reporting did not stop the candidates from claiming victory, especially former South Bend mayor and actor whose friend offered to take his headshot for free in the alley. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. But some of the mayor's supporters were having second thoughts, like this woman who voted for Mayor Pete, but moments later found out his not a secret. Are you saying that he has the same sex partner? Oh, he? Yes. 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 Are you kidding? Yeah, he's married to him, yeah. We need to find out if that's serious. Well, then I don't want anybody like that in the White House. <laughs> so can I have my card back? How come this has never been right brought out before? It's, it's common knowledge. Common knowledge? Well, has anyone told his roommate, Chastin? Because they're very good friends. 
This is terrible. While well, I'm off to the Elton John concert. What? <laughs> but the tiny dancer. Bernie Sanders uh, didn't come right out and say he won, but he did have an optimistic message for all his supporters. Let me begin by stating that I imagine, have a strong feeling that at some point, the results will be announced. I also have a strong feeling that the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. A bottom dollar that you will have when I raise the marginal tax rate on Daddy Warbucks. It's a hard knock life for him. It's a hard knock life for him. <laughs> Nobody gives a smidge when you live in an orphanage. <laughs> this afternoon, we finally got some results. Mayor Pete Buttigieg has a narrow lead with 62% of precincts reporting. That's right. 24 hours later, the Iowa Democratic Party was proud to announce they are almost two-thirds competent. <laughs> but it was 62% of a big moment for the Buttigieg campaign, and the mayor jumped all over it with the speech in New Hampshire. They're not complete, but results are in from a majority of precincts, and they show our campaign in first place. Good for you, Mr. Mayor. But that's like the 49ers coming out in the second half and going, the majority of the quarters are in, and they show our team winning 20 to 10. Congratulations. We're going all the... I'm going to Disney World! Uh -uh. Who's with me? Let's go to Disney! Uh-uh. Not yet. <laughs> so what's all this mean? Well, some people say that this debacle is going to end the Iowa caucus. But others are more optimistic and say it's going to end Iowa. <laughs> We'll be right back.